What's up everyone, welcome back to another episode of AWS Tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to build a video streaming service that you can use to serve your content to the people around the world. And the architecture that we're going to build today is very simple. We're going to use a S3 bucket to host our videos and then we're going to use CloudFront as our content delivery network to help us distribute our video content. I'm going to talk about CloudFront in more details and how it works later on in the video. And then for the front end, I'm just going to use React for this tutorial, but you can use other frameworks if you want to. So this service is going to be very similar to YouTube or Netflix that you use in your daily life. In fact, this concept is going to be the same for all other video streaming services that you may be, fam you may be familiar with. So it's going to be very interesting. But before we get to the demo, let's talk about CloudFront. So CloudFront is a content delivery network CDN uh, service within AWS that has a lot of edge locations around the world. And they're connected by, by AWS's in-house backbone network that can deliver data between them with a very low latency. And that's what makes the streaming fast. So this is how it works. So imagine right now you have a S3 bucket in Europe that you use to host your videos, and then you configure CloudFront on top of that. So right now, let's say it's user number one in Asia wants to watch your video, the edge location that's closest to that user will fetch the data from the S3 bucket and then deliver that to user number one. And now let's say 20 minutes later, user number two within the region wants to watch your video as well. This time, the edge location doesn't need to go back to the S3 bucket to get the content because it catches it within the edge location. So this time around, the edge location can just serve the, the cache content to user number two. So that's what makes it really fast. And this is exactly what we're gonna build today. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so right now I'm on the homepage of the AWS console and step number one is to create an S3 bucket to host our video. So I'm gonna type in S3. Create a bucket, give it a name. I'm just gonna call it GeneMeister video storage the name doesn't matter i'm going to keep it in my region us east one and then in here make sure that you keep it as private so don't uncheck this i know some people like to make a bucket public if they want to serve images or videos to the public but we're going to do it in a more secure way we only allow the CloudFront to have access to it. So if users want to access the video directly from the S3 bucket, we're going to block it. So we're going to keep this private. And then bucket versioning, we're going to enable that. And then server-side encryption, enable that as well. And then we're going to hit create. Okay, so the bucket is created successfully. And then step number two is to create our CloudFront and configure that to access our S3 bucket and the videos within it. So I'm going to type in cloud front. But before we can create a CloudFront distribution, we need to create an origin access control setting for our CloudFront distribution to use. So I'm going to click here. And then on security, we're going to click on origin access. Make sure that you are under control settings. And then create a control setting. And then give it a name. I'm just going to call it video streaming original access control and then check sign requests create okay so that is done and now let's go back to distribution and then create a distribution and then origin domain obviously we're going to choose the s2 bucket that we just created earlier that we're going to put our videos in and then in here, we're going to choose the origin access control setting that we just created, which is that one. And then you just see a warning here that says you have to update the S2 bucket policy. Um, and we're going to do that later. So don't worry about that now. Scroll down. Under viewer, we're going to check direct HTTP to HTTPS. What that means is that we're just going to enable encryption in transit uh, to keep our viewers connection safe. Uh, secured so it's a good practice to do and then everything else can be left as default hit create i think this is going to take a minute uh, for that to finish deploying but at the same time what we can do is we can update the s3 bucket policy here 
So if I copy this and then go here, it's going to direct me to the bucket policy setting in the uh, S3 bucket that we chose. So bucket policy, I'm going to hit add it here and then paste the policy that we just copy. That looks good to me. And then hit save. Okay, now it looks good. Let's go back here. Refresh. Okay, so this is still deploying. Okay, so I think this is going to take a few minutes. Uh, so I'm going to pause the video and then come back later. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and it seems like the deployment is successful. And now I think we're ready to test out the URL. So let's go back here. So that is the, uh, the CloudFront distribution that we just created. Uh, it's enabled. And now let's go back to the S3 bucket and upload a video to it. So click objects, upload, add files, and then navigate to the um, folders where you saved your videos. And I have a very short video that we can test out. Hit open, upload. Okay, so that is done. Let's click on it. And that is our object key. And now let's go back to CloudFront. We're going to copy the domain name, open a new tab, paste it here, do a slash, go back to the S3 bucket, copy the object key, paste it here, and then hit enter. Hello, it's just me hopping on my own video, trying to say hi and say thank you for checking out my video. I hope you learned something helpful here. And don't forget to like and subscribe. That's it for now. Peace out. Okay, so that's a very short video that I prepared earlier um, for the testing. But now we have confirmed that the CloudFront connection to the S3 bucket uh, is working. So now we are ready to build out the front end using React to serve our contents to our customer. Okay, so right now I have VS Code open a empty folder called Tutorial. And now we're going to build out the front end from scratch. So we're going to click Terminal, New Terminal. And then we're going to use NPX to create it. We're just going to call it Video Streaming Service or something like that. Click Enter. Oh, if you don't have npx install you can just do like npm install npx or something like that or you can look up the command okay so the app is created successfully um, now let's see the into the project and then we're gonna do a npm start to make sure that it's up and running first before we do anything to it okay so the app is working right now um, now we are ready to modify that for our own content. So kill it. And then we're going to delete the things that we don't need. Uh, we don't need this. Just to make it cleaner. And then inside here. We don't need these. Okay, so in our app.js file, we're just going to do something simple, uh, some simple text, and then we're going to add our video to it. Uh, let's have a h2 tag that says, welcome to my awesome video streaming set or something. And then uh, we're going to add a video tag. For the width, um, let's do 700 pixel, and then for the height, we can do something like 400 pixel maybe. I think that's pretty good. And then we're going to add the control option to it so that we can do pause, play, um, control the volume and stuff for that for the video. All I think it's controls. And then we're going to have a source tag. Um, 
And for the source, we are going to copy this. Make sure that you have HTTPS uh, in front of it. And then for the type, we're going to do video MP4. Um, so make sure that your video is in MP4 format, uh, which is a very common video format type. Oh, we got a close tag here. That looks good to me. Actually, let's do some basic CSS to center everything. Text align center. Okay, so that looks good. And now we are ready to test it out. So let's do npm start. And if we go back here, it's being refreshed by itself. Okay. So it seems like it's working fine, and we have the control over the play, uh, resume, volume, and full screen and stuff. Hello, it's just me hopping on my own video, trying to say hi and say thank you for checking out my video. I hope you learned something helpful here, and don't forget to like and subscribe. That's it for now. Peace out. Okay, so it seems like it's working fine now, and the architecture is very simple, and the functionality is very powerful and um, useful. So I hope you like this video and learn something from it. Um, if you like the video, I hope you can give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.